good morning. I'm on my way to Pilates right now. It's really beautiful and sunny outside. So I'm excited to get moving and get active. Um, Pilates has been really good for me. So yeah, see y'all on the other side. Hey, good morning guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time um, it's a really nice day today it's very bright um, and I just got back from Pilates this morning and I just wanted to take you through a bit of what a normal day in my life looks like as a artist and also um, a piano performance major and I'm not sure if a lot of people know that about me on this channel, but I'm also pursuing a master's degree right now, so my schedule can get very packed. So I just wanted to show you a bit of behind the scenes and like what my daily life actually looks like. So I have my favorite fruit oatmeal bowl right here, along with some coconut matcha. So I'm just gonna finish this up and get started on my day. I got really full halfway through, so I'm just gonna put this into a container and save it for later. And I have some really exciting things to show you guys that just came in the mail. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, so. I have manufactured tote bags. Um, I've also never opened this yet, so I just wanted to save it to open it with you guys. I am fingers crossed that the production was good. So yeah, let's get to opening this up. Oh my gosh, I can't even begin to describe how happy I am with these. Um, I originally was looking for an embroidered version of the tote, but I think to mass produce a lot of them from my shop, it's not very cost effective, unless I do some more digging and find um, a manufacturer that can do that for an affordable price, but for now, um, I got these totes off of Custom Ink and I designed the colors, the logo and everything. Um, so this is just the plain canvas in beige and I've been obsessed with forest green these days. I don't know why, maybe it's my love for nature, but forest green has been the vibe for this month and that's what I decided to make the logo color on this bag. So this bag is made for creatives with a version of choco in the middle. Well, a green choco, so maybe I could call this one matcha. Um, yeah, it is just this really nice traditional size burlap tote bag. Um, it can fit a lot of different things in here. Um, let's see what this says. It is a medium midway cotton, 100% cotton, so you can definitely put this through the machine um, if it gets a little dirty. The inside, well, it's just like any regular bag, but this material is so sturdy and um, I feel like I can fit a lot of stuff in here. I'm definitely going to use this for class, for fitting all my art materials in here. Um, yeah, and for now I just ordered, let's see, one, two. yeah, I ordered five just as a sample in case I didn't like the quality of the bag, but um, 
It looks like the printing came out really well. All the lines are crisp and even, everything's centered. Yeah, right down to the last one, so. I might experiment with putting something else on the back here, but for now I'm just going to stick with this. And one other item that I do have coming into my shop are t-shirts. I have not made t-shirts yet before, but that is my new item that I'm waiting for. It should be coming tomorrow, so hopefully I can show that in this video. If not, it'll be on my Instagram story and in my next video. But, um, yeah. My first tote bag in my shop. I really hope you guys like this one. It is so versatile and perfect for any of your art needs. So, yeah, I'm just super excited. <laughs> So I'm sure you guys have seen my plants just in the background on my other videos and oh, I feel so bad. This condition of my pilia is just really sad. Oh, I'm pretty sure the soil is rotten because if you can see there are like brown spots on the leaves, like this one's definitely dead, um, but there's hope because today I found this itty bitty like baby sprout right here and it gives me hope that the plant at least in the roots is still alive so i'm going to repot it into this other pot basket that's about two inches bigger than this one um the previous owner already had it in this pot so i think it's been a hot minute since it's been repotted into a new home so i'm just going to try and save this little guy because I just feel so bad every time I look at it while I'm working. Um, and I need to look up some videos on how to properly do that so I don't kill the plant. I have killed plants before, so I'm gonna try and learn properly. I'm watching Crazy Plant Guy. I don't know if anyone knows, but his videos are very helpful. So this was a messier process than I imagined, but I'm going to deep clean everything. Um, yeah, I actually like this bamboo pot a lot better than the white pot that it was in before, but um, I wanted to make sure that I didn't kill any of the roots, but yep, this is what it's like repotted and the little babies tucked in there as well. Um, I'm just gonna spritz it with some water and cross my fingers that this plant revives because it was you know, I love the um, Pilea shape. It's so cute. I just felt so bad for it. So hopefully it comes back alive. I quickly water this and clean up my station.
Usually around this time of the day, I get to work on producing stickers or on shop stuff, but I actually have a class in a couple hours and I just realized I haven't edited one of my assignments. <laughs> I tend to be a bit of a procrastinator to be honest, but I'm just gonna finish that up really quick. Um, and then I can prioritize um, getting some shop stuff done. So I have another exciting thing that came in the mail. It's the t-shirts that I mentioned earlier and I'm just going to do a little try on haul. I'm really excited. This is also from Custom Ink, same company that I manufactured the totes. So yeah, let's get to the unboxing. t-shirt looks like oh my gosh it is so cute and comfortable i'm just gonna quickly throw this on over this but this is the mini logo blue citrus with a grumpy choco cat so this is an extra large these are also just samples i wanted to see the condition before i mass produce them for the shop but this is an extra large this one's a large yeah, the sizing looks good too. And the material, this is the Gilda Ultra Cotton. And I'm really happy with how thick and supple this fabric is. And I love this beige that they provided at Gilda because there's a bit of a grain to it. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's like little um, models in it. So here's a medium. I think I'll try on a medium. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is so comfortable and I feel like I could wear it anywhere. It's very simple. I really like simple designs with t-shirts, but there's nothing on the back. But yeah, this little logo sits right over your left chest. Um, I love the printing of this. It's very crisp, actually. It's very nice and crisp and um, seems like it'll hold up well. And. Um, let me zoom out for more of like a full body look. Overall, I'm really happy with all these new items that are coming into the shop. I am trying to schedule my shop update for aiming for um, early October, which is very soon, um, within the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to finalize a date for that and um, my patrons will get early access to my shop update, but it will be open to public shortly after. So um, yeah, I just thank you so much for being here. I was gonna keep filming, but the window cleaning guys are here. So I think I'm gonna end the video here for today, but thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you next week.